this is so hard. I know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't understand this stuff. We're gonna fail. We are gonna fail physics unless you know. Do you think Dustin will see us? Uh, he's way over there. He won't notice if we share a few answers. I don't know. He's not looking at me. so great. Okay. Oh my god. Thanks, girl. Perfect. Cheaters. When he comes out, just put it in reverse and hit him. Okay, that should work. Okay. When he okay. comes, I'm gonna hit him. You're just gonna back up into him. I, I gotta be ready. Oof. All right, all right. Here he comes. Ducks. Oh, we oh. just know we're here. Hit you. It was it, a hand run. We called yeah, the dog. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't Nicolette. It wasn't Nicolette. That's not her car. It wasn't Nicolette. Sure looks like your car. It's not. I promise. Yeah, that wasn't her. But sorry, you got hit by a car. Sucks for you. Okay, so there's me and you on top of a cliff that's 15 meters high, and there's Dustin after we pushed him off of it. Okay, well, my dad says that if you push somebody off, like, more than three stories are going to die anyway, so I think 15 meters should be enough. I wonder yeah. what his final velocity is going to be. Yeah, if it's 15 meters, and he starts going at zero, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second, I bet we can find his final velocity. Bet we could, too. Let's slide over here and look at our equation. Vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ax. Okay, so we know our initial velocity is zero, and then our acceleration is 9.8, and our distance is 15 meters. So when we plug everything in and take the square root, his final velocity would be 17.15 meters per second. So that must mean that if you kill somebody, you could be traveling 17 meters per second. Yep. Wow. I think this will do it. I <laughs> think it will too. Yeah! How are you going to push him off the cliff? We'll just tell him we dropped something, like our phone, and when he gets up here, we'll just give him a push. Will that work? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Dustin, come here. We need help with something. Hey, Dustin, I dropped my phone off this cliff. Will you help us look for it? Sure. It's way do it, in there. It's really far. Do you see anything? I think I see it. I don't know. How did he wake up? I don't know. Do you think he knows what happened? Probably not. He looks confused. 
That's good. I guess we'll have to try again. Yeah, we'll do something else. Well, hit them with the car and throw them off a cliff didn't work. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll just try to microwave them. Will that work? Yeah, we'll just make him put his head in there. We'll just start it. Well, how are we going to get it put his head in there? Well, tell him it's broken. He always falls for that. You're right. He is pretty stupid. Well, I mean, we need to kill him with some wave. And the shorter the wavelength, then the stronger the wave is. Yeah. And the most powerful wave that we have would be microwaves. Because we don't have gamma rays or x-rays or anything to use. And plus, I think it'd be a little fun to <laughs> film with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the microwave will do it. I think so, too. Oh, and the equation is velocity equals wavelength times frequency. But we don't even do that because we're just going to kill him with the microwave. Yeah! Hey, Dusty, come here! What? Well, there's something messed up with our microwave. We don't really know what. Will you take a look? Sure. I think it's back there in the back. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, that'll work. 25 minutes. That's perfect. That should kill him. Uh-oh, he's waking up. What happened? Well, Mr. Peterson came in the room and scared you, and you hit your head on the microwave, and you kind of knocked yourself out. Serious? Yeah, but me and Ailey saved your life. Like, you were bleeding everywhere, and we bandaged it for you, so you owe us big time. This is like the third time we've saved your life. Thanks. You're welcome, no problem. Okay, the equation for voltage is voltage equals current times resistance. So, we know the lethal current is 0.06 amps. And we also know that the human body resistance is 1,000 ohms, and my car battery is only 12 volts. Okay, so we, we have 12 equals I times 1,000. I equals, where's the calculator? Oh, here's one. 12 divided by 1,000 is only 0 0.012 amps. That's not enough. I guess we'll have to solve for voltage. We need a bigger battery. So V equals the current 0 0.06 times 1,000. <laughs> so our new voltage would be 60 volts. <laughs> Guess we'll have to go get a different battery. We need a 60 volt battery fast. Here comes Dustin! Do you remember the plan? Yeah, we're going to tell him to hook the car cables up the opposite way, and that way maybe he'll die. Exactly. Hey Dustin, will you come here? Our car battery's dead, and we need a guy to help. We're not strong enough. Yeah, I'll help. Here you go. Here are the cables. Right. Um, black goes with red. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. But you put red on first. Make sure you put the, yeah, put the red one on first. Okay, whatever you say. It's gonna work. Hurry up! <laughs> He's waking up! Uh-oh! Go. What happened? Uh, you got struck by lightning. It's sunny outside. You've been laying here for like a week. Really? Yeah, but luckily me and Nicolette came and we saved your life. Jeez, thanks. We tried hitting him with the car using force. We tried to throw him off a cliff using projectile motion. I mean, we even tried using waves and microwaving his head. The electricity didn't even kill him. We electrocuted him with a car battery. A 50 volt or a 60 volt battery. We now know physics! <laughs> You're right.
right. I'm so happy. I'm kind of bad for Dustin. I know. I kind of feel bad about all that stuff we did to him. Oh well. This dress is so cute.